Good morning or good afternoon whenever you are doing this lesson. So this is lesson four for this week, your last lesson on character traits. I'm just going to sort of review character traits and then I'm going to model what you are going to do for the week and turn into me by Monday. So just to review real quick, when we are talking about character traits, the first thing that we have to do is identify the character in the story. We can't describe a character if we don't know who they are yet, right? So the first thing first, identify that main character. Then once we have the main character, we can start reading and seeing what they are doing, feeling, thinking, and saying, right? Those are the four things that we are um, looking for to tell us about our character so we can describe their traits. And remember, we have used this, uh, text or talk card sorry and it says what character trait describes the character on the inside how do you know think it has a brain do it has a person um, running feel with a heart or say with a speech bubble so those are the four things we're looking in the story for to help us describe our character and their traits so we talked about the hens and the peacock Yesterday we did um, little different cards of traits and said what would they do next or what would they say next. Um, so today what you are going to do is you are going to pick any fiction story that you have at home or you can even read one on the screen to me if you um, can go on Epic or Mayan or anything like that if you don't have a book at home. And it's okay if you've read the book before, that's fine. But I want to be, I want to hear you read because it's been so long since I've been able to hear you read. So I'm really missing that. So I want to hear you read on your own. And then you're going to tell me who the character is. You're going to pick one character. Then after you have your character, you're going to tell me their trait. What was the trait that this character had in the story? And then you need to give me evidence. What in the text told you that character had that trait? Okay, just like we did um, in lesson one and two with the hens and the peacock and the hound. Okay, the hound was for you to do if you were able to uh, on your own. And you should have said that the hound was calm and I think lazy was the other word that they had for the hound because he didn't really do much but lay out on the porch. So I just gave you the character, the hound, I said the trait was lazy and I gave you evidence. Why did I say he has a lazy trait? Because all he did was lay on the porch and watch and listen to everybody else. And that was in the text. So, your job. Read. Tell me the character. Tell me their trait. And tell me why you say that's their trait. So, I'm going to go ahead and model with you with this book. It's called The Koala Who Could by Rachel Bright. The Koala Who Could. In a wonderful place where the day was just dawning and the breezes blew soft on a warm golden morning, in a place where the creatures ran wild and played free, a koala called Kevin clung to a tree. Can you see him? A nicer gray fellow you never would meet, as soft as soft thing from ear tufts to feet. His favorite way to relax in the sun was to cling and to nap and to munch a leaf bun. And after all this, well, he need a nice rest. Yes, Kevin liked sticking to what he knew best. So right now, I already know my character. I know that I'm gonna be telling you about Kevin. He's the main character. You see, high up was safe since he liked a slow pace, while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud and too big and too strange? Nope, Kevin preferred not to move or to change. Mm. 
I'm already getting some clues of some traits that I might use to talk about Kevin. So he clung to his tree as he knew what to do and was never too keen to try anything new. So when Wombat stopped by and shouted one day, Hey Kevin, why don't you come down and play? Um, I think, he replied, I should stay on my plant. I'm busy right now. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Why not, cried the roos with a super loud cheer. Yes, why, called the dingoes, there's nothing to fear. But Kevin, who never been one to act fast, said, I'm cl I've am i clinging to do, but it's nice that you asked. As Kevin sat watching them chatter and share, a part of him wished he could join in down there. But he knew he'd miss home. It was so dark and so late. <laughs> the whole thing was risky. Adventure could wait. Whatever the invite, he'd always say no. Oh dear, it seemed Kevin just couldn't let go. So his life was the same no matter the day. The weeks came and went and the months rolled away. And Kevin stayed still while the world moved around until he awoke to a worrying sound. Tap, tap, the sound went. Well, this was a blow. Tap, tapity, tap, 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 tap. Oh no. Uncling, the crowd called, which had gathered below. Leap and we'll catch you, just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared, let go. No, I shan't. I won't, shouted Kevin. Oh dear, I just. So you can see the woodpecker, he's picking the wood away. What's he gonna do? Womp! Down came the tree and with it was bringing crash and a wallop and Kevin still clinging. Kevin, he clearly opened one eye and looked up at love staring down from the sky. Then one paw by one paw, he loosened his hold. He felt springy and light and happy and bold. The worst he could think of had now come to pass and he was just fine, what he felt quite first class. So when Wombat leaned over and held his paw out, Kevin no longer felt worry or doubt. When Dingle asked, now will you come out to play? The crowd all joined in with a, what do you say? And even though this wasn't part of his plan, Kevin replied, yes, I think that I can. And Kevin from then on was always can do. Because life can be great when you try something new. And that's the end. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the character, a trait, and give evidence for that. So, my character is Kevin in this book, The Koala Who Could. So, the main character is Kevin. One trait I would use to describe Kevin... So I'm going to pick what he was for most of the story, which I might say, I'm thinking kind of scared, shy, worried. I think I'm going to choose worry. So characters can have lots of different traits, but I just want you to choose one trait. Choose whichever one you like the best for your character. So I'm going to choose worried. 
he was worried a lot. And now I'm gonna tell you why I say worried. So I think that a trait to describe Kevin is worried because in the story, he was worried about what would happen if he did let go of the tree. What would happen if he did come down and play with his friends? He did not want to do anything different than what he knew. He knew he would be safe up in his tree. So when they asked him to come down, he didn't want to because he was worried about what could happen if he goes down there. He didn't know and he didn't want to find out. So I said that I'm saying that one of his traits is being worried. Um, I could say scared as well. He was also scared to come down from the tree. He wanted to stay up there where he was nice and safe. He was scared of what might happen when he comes down. So scared and worried kind of go together, I think, for Kevin. So there I gave two different traits. I just want you to give one, okay? So that's what you're gonna do. I can't wait to listen to you read me a story, tell me the character, character trait, and then evidence from the story that told you um, that trait, okay? Just, um, if you have any questions, your parent can message me on Class Dojo, or you can leave a Flipgrid response asking me the question, and I will respond to that, okay? So this needs to be done by Monday. I believe Monday, it's May um, 4th. So Monday, May 4th is when this needs to be done. Okay? Alrighty. Bye.